What's up, guys? So, it's your girl Tosh. Thought I'd come in real quick, say hello, make a quick video. Always kind of cheers me up, whether I'm preaching or just talking, preaching, talking, you know, whatever. Same thing. Um, I I'm gonna preach to myself. Don't give up. You don't give up. You. You know his promises are true because nobody believes you nobody believes him nobody believes our Lord and his promises but you do whoever you are you do and he knows you by name and he knows all every your every number of hair numbers of hair on your head are numbered rather we're very important to God if he's put a dream or vision in your heart he will fulfill it you don't give up you stay in faith you watch your mouth you know um, we just got to continue pushing you know just keep pushing pushing and it can be a long time but see the what I remember the what I want to remember I believe is very important that we remember is that and I believe he was told I, I was told you know we're not gonna be no matter what our vision is or or, or the promises of of God you know how however accomplished we will become we are not going to be any more than what we are in that moment that he told us because we are already everything we'll ever need and be we're everything we'll ever be with him you know he's our sole fo focus he's our the one who's going to lift us up out of the uh mire and lift us up out of the drudgery of this um, daily grind that we don't belong in as children as Bible believing God serving humble lovers of the one true God we are not meant to be breaking our back to anything we got promises we got promises I believe in them um, surely surely we work we work and we cultivate what God's given us we take care of others we love we do our you know do our utmost and you can't just turn around and just do your utmost for five minutes you know this is a lifestyle and um, I'm just trying to say that I'm just trying to say that uh, we, ain't, we ain't perfect either we're not perfect either but but um, you can rest assured that um, if God made some promises out there to people who believe I'm gonna be one of them I am one I'm not gonna be I am one I'm, I'm called I'm called and you're called and if you if we are all called but do we all choose to fo follow the calling no nope. we don't all all do some we don't believe some don't believe some don't care some that's pretty much it some can't right now but they will they just can't possibly because their eyes have been blinded you know by the enemy there's just but once your eyes are open and if, and if any part of this resonates with you at all this just this much this much don't go don't freak out because i did this stupid conspiracy don't turn into a conspiracy theory because but <laughs> i've been there too that that was on my way out of the awakening or whatever because there's some truth in that but but god reigns over all of that so anyways um if this resonates with you even in the least this is messages for you we've got you've got a higher calling and you you want to get there because it's we were made for something specific we weren't made to and it could very well be you know salesman it could be uh, you know it's going to be bring bring what one thing you can know for sure will be bringing glory to god you won't feel one ounce of um moral decay or or um you know like you're compromising you won't feel any compromising you're going to be fulfilled you're not going to be stressful you're going to love your job when you whenever you're doing your calling you're you're going to enjoy doing what you do and it's going to bring honor to god and it's going to bring and it's just going to lift your whole lift you up and that's that's my goal and if this resonates with you in the slightest it is for you pick it up research that those research that and we we just don't give up and um he didn't say how long it'd be or anything, you know. There's not a timeline for the clock. 
you know we don't want to put a clock on god or anything kind of kind of dark here i'm out here in my my mustang but but yeah just hang in there peeps we'll get there and one day when we're there and he's going to do this thing because he's not going to let any follower of his who shows up and shows out for the lord and does what what the world calls crazy which my own family thinks i'm crazy right now because i upped and up and left arizona and moved to nashville without a, a place to stay and stuff i'm okay <laughs> they're more stressed out than i am and it's not funny it's sad but what are you gonna do i got i got things to do for god and um one day they'll understand if i'm just me trying to find myself and my the calling that god's gonna give to me that's me seeking god too and you know you stay in your bible and there's all these other things that go with it but but me trying to do what i was made to do is not crazy that's not crazy that is the highest calling that there ever is on this earth so i'm doing the high i'm pursuing my highest calling and if some body can't you know wrap their head around it uh, you got to just give it to god because you know what if if he want if they were to know they would know just like i said if this resonates with you it's for a reason so um so i forgive those who i love and who don't understand and who think i'm crazy and all that you know you just i just gotta leave that at the throne I mean, that's just something else for god to take care of because he's called me into rest and he's called me and to trust him and i'm gonna do it even though i may be surrounded by you know lawlessness and um nonsense and just debauchery that I, I, even though wherever i'm at still we have one calling one or two but it's all wrapped in one that's to seek the lord your god seek your maker why don't you seek after what he wanted you to do that's a high calling that's a high calling not not um whatever it is that's stressing you out at night you know keeping you up all day and night you know but you've got this and you've got that and you've got that do you have peace that's not your calling but the highest calling is to do what i was put on this earth to do and um you seek your god and he'll reveal it to you and he'll put you there but you seek your God first in all things. I think I've said this before on one of my other videos. Or perhaps my other channel. But that's my that's how we get there is we seek God with our and we love God with our whole heart, with our whole mind, our whole soul, and our whole strength. And two, we love people as we would love ourselves. So those are not very easy things to do either that is a full-time job right there and that's what if you're going to find your calling in god you're going to have be you're going to be able to do those things flawlessly in this um oh god i don't know what the right word to call this in this jaded world we're in loving god and loving people will become effortlessly i believe and we're well on our way to our calling because he's not going to put us up in our calling and then us having a, a bad crappy attitude snapping on people and i believe that's where i'm at right now i'm i'm getting trained up uh, so so i may have thought my calling would be you know i, I probably thought it would be a lot quicker than i did i i don't know why i was just like because i'm sure i'm sure that it's going to happen for me but i'm just not ready my character is not ready i'm not i'm not made perfect so i'm just in that time timeline right now I don't know where you are, but just get in the game and stay there. Keep pushing.